and welcome back to another Superliminal Games video. Uh, my name is J-Rod, and today I'm going to be drafting Strixhaven. And I haven't done a, a draft in a while, so I'm going to do another stipulation draft. So, it's just going to be a rare draft or Mystical Archive to give myself a chance to build a reasonable deck. So, I've got a token entry uh, that you can't see behind my face. I'm going to use that. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just prioritize taking the rare or mystical archive card, which in some cases will also be a rare or mythic, and go from there. Just waiting for the seats to fill up. See who else is drafting this early in the morning to give you an idea of when I'm recording this. Waiting for that last seat. Come on. Don't make me cut this. Oh, that's just not nice. There we go. Alright, so... Um, body of Research. Make a library library. Or Claim the Firstborn. So already I'm a little bit scared because... Like, this is a good card, but it's not the best. And Body of Research uh, is hard to cast. Hmm. I think I'll take the Claim the Firstborn. Um, because in addition to having to pick, I also have to play all the cards I pick as far as rares or mystical archive. So I just, I don't think I can get Body of Research into what could be like a four or five color deck. All right. Uh, I got Teachings of the Archaics, which is a decent draw spell. Um, sometimes. Uh, or Adventurous Impulse. Just look at the top three. Uh, put a creature or land in your hand. Um, I mean, this is a lesson, so I could just take this, put it on the sideboard, and officially play it if I get any learn cards. Um... But I think I'd like Adventurous Impulse, just because it looks cool. And uh, I can, you know, help sort out some kind of rough draws. So. Alright, and this pick will be Agonizing Remorse. So already into three colors. Um, gonna try to get some letters of acceptance for whatever I'm building. Um couple other cards I would have loved to take. Inkling Summoning, Study Break. The Wrangler's pretty good for a green deck. But... Alright. Go on Opt or Rushed Rebirth. Choose a creature. When it dies, search your library for a creature with lesser mana value. Put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle. That's interesting. Um, I could also go into four colors already, but I think I'll just take the rare and try to stick to three colors, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Dina, I, it's a really good card. Scourge Colony. Um, so yeah, hopefully something comes back. Or hopefully I can start picking other than from one of two cards. But... That's the whole idea of a stipulation draft. Alright, uh, looks like we're going into white a bit with a Defiant Strike. Um, things I would have preferred, obviously. Uh, the arch is pretty fun. If I can get into a life-gaining style of 
black green but campus guide gonna want to try to get a couple of those oh boy it's always fun maybe the mystical archive caveat may have actually backfired because there's a lot of them and not all of them are going to be great But the deck's going to look cool, so that's important. All right, uh, thank goodness I can actually draft whatever I want here. Um, so I feel like it should be a Scourge Colony, just because I don't actually have any creatures yet. And it's a pretty good one. Uh, Archway Commons would be pretty good as well, but I'd rather grab a creature here. And again, I can pick whatever. So Ollie will grab this campus guide. Um, I'm not in blue yet, so I won't pick a Eureka moment. There's an outside chance I won't have to play blue. So uh, let's go ahead and grab campus guide. Keeping my curve at two or less so far. And gotta take a revitalize here, but that's fine. So far, my two white cards are also cantrips, which is not the worst. And again, keeping the curve low, I might be able to cobble together some sort of magecraft. There, magecraft. I forget the ability, um, but might be able to piece together some sort of spell stack. Uh, Professor of Zumancy is probably going to be the pickup here. Cram Session's fine, but I don't actually have any lessons yet. But like I said, I need just need some creatures. All right. Uh, the Forbidden, Double Striker, I think I'll just take a land here. Alright, uh, Pillar Drop Rescue is pretty good. So is Study Break. I think I'm going to grab the Study Break here, assuming I will have to or be able to give some lessons. I'm going to grab another Scourge Colony. Alright, uh... Grab the Novice to Sector, just as another creature. Put the Satchel on the sideboard. And first day of class, I'll put in there for now. Alright. Okay. Uh, once again, uh, triple blue. Not what I'm looking to do here. So it might have to be Divine Gambit. Mm. Things I would have rather had. Dina. Uh, Blood Researcher. Um, even the Stonebound Mentor would have been good. But I will grab this Divine Gambit. Okay, um, well there's a Snarl, and unfortunately the uh, Mystical Archive card was taken, so I have to take the Snarl here, even though I'm not in blue yet. So that figures. Ooh, a command. Uh, these are usually good to have, because modal spells are, tend to be pretty good. Yeah, I can... 
do a couple things with this. All right, now I can grab whatever I want from this pack. Uh, hmm. Still technically not in blue, but that's okay. Uh, do I want a third Scourge Colony? Probably not. I guess I'll just take the rip apart. It's a removal spell. Ugh. Okay. Got a couple ideas. Um, this is not great. And Faithless Looting's a reasonable pick up here. This is going to be quite the pile. And, uh... Yeah. Should be interesting. Uh, the Witherbloom Command. Also pretty good. We can go ahead and grab that. Magecraft. Uh, yeah, that's... I mean, it'd be... Maybe I will put Spell Satchel in there. With all the spells I do have, that might not be a bad idea. Okay, um... Might just be Big Creature here. Probably just be Big Creature here. Uh, Duress, I've seen just do good things in this format regardless, so that's actually a really good pickup. There's Adina. I don't know if I'm gaining enough life for it to be the best pickup here, but I'm going to go for it. Um, well, I guess I'll hunt for specimens. No, I've got at least a couple learn cards here. Uh, ooh, letter of acceptance. Mana fixing, as I was hoping for. Uh, okay. Hmm. Grab another creature. Even though Novice Dissector is not the best one, so I'm probably just gonna not run two of them. Hmm. Uh. I think I'll pick up the assistant. It's a great blocker. It's got some late game implications. Uh, fracture. Sure. And Tome Shredder. Alright, uh, Tainted Pack or a Phoenix. Ugh, Tainted Pack's really good, but I don't think it's what I should be doing. Um, if you would learn, you may instead return it to the battlefield. Okay. Uh, wow. Eh, it's a flyer that can come back. Exponential growth. It's a weird rare, but better than a whirlwind denial. Ooh, a good, a lesson. It's not a bad card. Mortality Spear would have been much better of a pickup, but that's okay. Hmm. 
perhaps playing all the cards won't actually work out. I'll probably do what I normally do for these. Um, I'll play until I get to two losses and then build a more cohesive deck. Uh, Abundant Harvest, choose land or non-land, and then I can get whatever I pick. It's actually reasonable in this deck. Because I will probably need some help with draw spells. Or to draw spell, I should say. Or land fixing. Just getting more lands in general. Got ten creatures, that's not the worst. Alright, um, that's not great. Uh, so I'm going to grab Thrill. Uh, again, would have much preferred a removal spell or just about anything else, but it's okay. We're going to do something here. Alright. Here's the first uh, blue spell that has to go in. Mystical Archive Negate. Yeah, this format might not be best for my uh, stipulation draft, just because building a cohesive deck is much more important than just about anything. But I think I've, I've got a few good things in here. Um, do I want a second rip apart? Now that I can pick whatever. I'm just going to grab a land. Alright, I can grab whatever again. Probably grab Blood Researcher. I want to say that my deck is mostly these two colors. Uh, Tainted Pack. Packed. Um, yeah, I'll grab that, since I have to. Um, Mage Hunter is just a reasonable card. I've got a few things with reach and flying, so I'll grab the Mage Hunter. Grab the Leech Fanatic. It's another two drop. Each player sacrifices a creature of Planeswalker. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Second letter of acceptance. I don't think I'll be playing two of them. Uh, I don't want either of these, so I'm just going to put the creature on the sideboard. And Tangle Trap, also on the sideboard. Alright, so I'm going to try to make a few cuts. Um, not sure what I'll be cutting. But, i got 13 creatures... So, there's only a few cards over here that uh, aren't Mystical Archives. So I'm absolutely going to be playing more than 40 cards. Uh, I know that's not what most people should do, but this deck is kind of calling for it. Um, Land count as of right now is 
17. So I need to add in a couple lands. Oof. But the curve is actually reasonable. The average is 2.4. So I don't actually have to add in too many more lands. I may only add in like two or three maybe. Um, so I really should run all the creatures I have, but I only have two others. Sure, why not? Only have the one lesson. So, learning will mostly be discarding. Um, unless I can get the, uh, the phoenix into the yard. And I think I'll add in... A swamp and a forest... Once again, uh, don't take deck building advice from me. Never, never ever do that. So I've got 19 lands and uh, 38 non lands. Perfect deck construction. Uh, so. Here goes, uh, well, basically, here goes my token. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I should have uh, prioritized the campuses a little bit more just in case. But we'll see what happens. Uh, well, I've got a two drop, and if I draw a red, I can kind of sort this hand a bit more. Okay, here we go. I'd love a red spell right now, or a red land, or a mountain. Those are called mountains. Okay, now that I have a snarl in my hand, I might actually block here, because I have a few other things I can start to do. So I might thrill away the faithless looting. Because having two of those effects is a bit...
bit more than I need, and I can flash back Faithful Saluting anyway, so. I think Thrill for that would be reasonable. Oops. Oops. It's not his fault, Opt. Not sure what they're up to, but we'll see what's going on. I think I'll take one hit from them. I'm not too worried about a singular hit. Well, actually at this point, I'm not under a tremendous amount of pressure, so I think I'm going to just start getting a little bit aggressive. Um, now that I have red and white mana, I have uh, Rip Apart available. So. Kind of okay with what's happening here. Okay. Gave that trample. Ooh, that is a card I need to kill. Hmm. like that card. That's just a big old biograph. Attacks. Some sort of combat trick. Perfect. draw what I was hoping to draw, but that's okay. Okay. So um, I have the ability to take a bit of damage, so.
So I can faithless looting. And then maybe be able to play a creature? Or I could just claim the firstborn, swing in for six, and see what happens. Ooh, snakeskin veil. Alright, uh... Yeah, no attacks. Probably gonna lose this game. I mean, wasn't that hard to say earlier. Alright, uh... So I'd need to be able to play multiple creatures. So that was a easy defeat. That's okay. Wasn't expecting too much, but you know, it happens. And again, you know, once I get to my second loss, I'm gonna try to rearrange the deck a bit. Maybe cut it down to an actual like 40-ish card deck. We'll see what happens. There's a bit of potential in the deck too, so I might be able to squeak out a win because I am at the lowest rank because I haven't played any this season as far as limited goes, so we'll see. Waiting for opponent. All right. Okay. Um, once again, not much going on here, but I think I have to keep. Well, no, I don't. I'm gonna mulligan. See, this is about as good, and I can toss away I probably thrill. Alright, probably field trip. It's gonna be great when I do it again, too. But I'm gonna wait a couple turns. Alright. Now we're in trouble. Yeah, not much else I can do.
That's the problem with the three color deck, or the five color deck. Um, I got a blue away from playing that, a white away from playing that. Alright. Not doing anything. Alright. Let's uh, try to streamline this deck a little bit more. So obviously we don't want all of these cards. I think I can just cut white as well. Maybe leave a little bit of it. Well, let's see what happens. All right. Uh. So there's 17 lands. Um, don't think I want Tainted Pact. I don't want both Faithless and Thrill. Is that true? Yeah, cut one of those. I don't need both of these. Well, I need I need creatures, so I can't be cutting any creatures. Uh, I don't need both agonizing and duress. Each player sacrifices a creature. If you sacrifice a permanent this way, return another permanent from your graveyard to hand. I think I want that, and I. Do like rushed rebirth as well. Well, actually, do I? Choose target creature. When that creature dies this turn, search your library for. A so it doesn't even have to be my creature. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna run a 44 card deck. That's fine. So I will run one extra land, and I think I'm actually going to run a campus so I can scry. Now, should I run? No, that's fine. All right, so 45 card deck, a little bit more reasonable, I think. But, you know, that's the, uh, the downfall of having a stipulation draft when there's so many cards you have to take. Uh, you're going to run into things like that. Um, this is a forest from being good. I'm not doing anything till three though, so I'm just gonna mulligan it. Uh, this is about as good. I can just put the dissector. Yeah, I'll keep six and let the dissector come back later. And start with the campus.
hunting for specimens. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll grab that. Just for... Just so I can discard it for when I learn a second time. What do you have? Either they're on full control or they have a black instant. That can target my little pest. Get aggressive. Dark ritual. I like it. Ooh, it's a fancy, fancy one. Pretty good. All right, uh, yeah. Attacking into that. Not without a combat trick. Well, there goes my combat trick. It's gotta be Witherbloom Command, though, right? Professor's good, but... Really? Okay. Sure. No blocks. Pass the damage. Yeah, um... Can attack now. Look at this. This deck actually works even with 47 cards. 
45? 45. Either way. It's always fun to kind of hamstring yourself for a little bit, especially when it's a token for the draft. I think I got that when it was half price, so I'm not too worried about spending 400 gems. Okay. Um, I guess I'll attack. Okay. Okay, next to damage. I'll end the turn. Nothing like a Teferi's protection, huh? You're not gonna attack this time, are you? Do you have another Teferi's protection? Now you have a 1 4, that makes more sense. I'll leave that on top. Non land, please. should do here. Let's pass the turn. <sighs> do you want to replay your pilgrim? Well, no, yeah. that only goes to your hand. Oh, that'd be great if they did that. get a win here. Well, that's certainly fine. Get to see them. Whew. All right. We got one. Uh. So, this weird Jun deck that I've got going. 
Yeah, when it's a token, if I can get up to like two wins, it makes it feel like it's worth it. I guess three wins is more like it. But let's try another. Three to four lands, what? Give me those two land hands. I don't really face off against arena members either. I do like that they're kind of giving people tips and tricks on how to play the game more like it's a in-person game, like pretending you have cards in hand. It's not as easy when you just let it roll through the turn on its own. Uh, waiting a minute for an opponent is rough. It is getting on to about, you know, lunchtime on the East Coast, so hopefully people are going to start getting online to play. There we go. Miginal. 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 That's a draw. Good. I like. I. Those are fine too. <laughs> I guess they, uh. cancelled. Just as they were getting matched up. I don't know what may have happened. It's always interesting when just nobody's on to play. Alright. So. Is it Miginal again? No, it's somebody else entirely. Um, this again is, uh, well, it's close, but I go first, and I'd rather have something a little bit more, there we go, okay, keep, and I'm gonna, mm. sounds weird, but I think I might have to put the colony back, because I want Dina, because that, that just draws so much hate, but it'll be worth worth the uh, getting it removed. Okay, cog work pretty good here. Oh, they're running a 53 card deck, oh my. Good thing I'm not running mill.
That's certainly a thing. Swing in with the zoo man? I think I do. Yeah. Boop. That's a four five for you. Yeah, no blocks. Okay, weird, weird, weird thing that you just did there. Okay, that was kind of an unfortunate series of events, but that's okay. Okay, also weird. I'll take that. <clears throat> weird free win. But again, they may have been trying to do something like I was doing earlier where they played a very large deck for some reason. You can meet your opponents. There we go. Some people actually getting on to play. this I kind of have to keep because I can play two spells and I'm one land away from playing letter. And this looks like just a normal ass hand. There we go. That's where it gets weird. Oh, that has to die. Bear Druid. Okay.
cool. I think that was worth the hit. Maybe not, but that's okay. Ooh, that's fun. Oh yeah, that won't be happening. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take two. It's always nice when they have a absolute dead card in their hand. That's pretty good though. Yep. Uh huh. gonna get out of this one.
Pretty good. I suppose I didn't actually have to do that. It's gonna die anyway. Alright, so that's fun. Why didn't you attack with more stuff? That kind of combat trick. They absolutely should have just swung all out. attack with all. Because they should. So I can die. Please? Oh, then yeah, you don't get to do anything. I hit concede. You jerk. I don't want them to be able to do the damage. How rude. Well, so it goes. We got a win. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, oh, we got two wins, actually. Yeah. Absolutely fine. I'm um, going to go ahead and open up these packs and talk about how... Ooh. A primal command. That's real good. Um, make sure you check us out every Thursday here on YouTube. We have different videos. They've been all all over the map. Um, specifically, last week's video was one of our Saturday live streams, and it was some of the most fun. We we played the game What the Dub, and it's kind of an improv -y, like fill in the blank game. It's like Mad Libs, but with old video clips. Um, I would definitely recommend. I click through that real quick. Definitely recommend. Uh, going back and check that out. I'm gonna probably make that the video I have right here in this general area. Um, every Sunday we're on Twitch and Max and myself and Dan sometimes and Paul occasionally. Um, one of us will be streaming uh, Arena so you can watch somebody, usually not me, so somebody better, playing the game that you just watched me fail at a bit. And then, yeah, one uh, second Saturday every month on Twitch as well, we do the uh, non-magic stream. So make sure you check us out there. And we're also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and possibly other places that I don't remember at the moment. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching and have a great day.